Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to install a four-way light switch. Okay, so the switch I'm gonna be replacing is right here. Now, a four-way light switch is used when you have three or more locations from which you want to uh, control a light, or in this case, it actually controls the outlets on my family room floor, which are meant to have four lamps plugged into them. So anytime you have three or more switches controlling a single source, you're gonna have one of those switches will be a four-way. Now, if you have three switches, you have one four-way for sure. If you have four switches controlling something, then you have two four-ways. As you add more switches, so if you have five and so on, you're just gonna keep adding four ways. There are gonna be three ways on this circuit as well. So with three switches, you have the one four-way in the middle of the circuit, which doesn't mean it has to be physically located between the other two, but it is gonna be electrically located between the two essentially. So on the ends of a circuit, you're gonna have a three-way on each end. So if you end up with say four switches, you have two four-ways, and then on the ends, of that electrical circuit, you have a three-way on each side. If you have five switches, again, three four-ways at that point, and two three-ways on the ends of the electrical circuit. But you don't know physically where those will be just by looking at it. You're gonna have to take them, take them out like I have done and identify which one is your actual four-way. So uh, this one for me is physically and electrically located in the middle, but it could have been over here to my left or I've got another one down the hallway there to my right. So it doesn't have to be in the middle, but typically they will wire it that way because it's the easiest way to run the wiring and the cheapest way to go about it. Okay, so as you can see, I have my new four-way here in my left hand. It's gonna be replacing the old one right here. And this is a standard single pull switch. So you can see there is a quite a bit of a uh, size difference between the two here. And so I'm gonna put this one away for now and we'll just talk about the four-way. Now, what makes a four-way different from a three-way is that your three-way has uh, four terminals on the back and then plus the ground. And what you have is two gold, which are your travelers, and then you have that one black terminal, which is your common on your three-way. For a four-way, essentially what you do is you add a second common. So you have two golds and two blacks, and then you still have your uh, green ground terminal down at the bottom. So wiring a four-way switch is actually pretty simple. As you can see in the box, I only have two cables coming in with two wires on each of those cables. And the way it's gonna work is that the uh, two wires from each cable are going to stick together on the same color terminals. So this cable right here, they're both gonna hook up to the black terminals and this cable right here, they are both going to hook up to the gold terminals. And the way this works is that this is one three-way switch that's coming from and this is going to another three-way switch. Okay, that's it. It's a pretty simple installation. So just as a recap, if you identify that you have three or more switches controlling one light source, then you know that you have a four-way involved. If you have three switches, you have one four-way and two three-ways. If any more switches are added to that circuit, then you know you still have those two three-ways and then you have uh, an extra four-way for every switch added to it. So four switches, two four-ways, two three-ways. So the two three-way thing will always happen once you hit three or more switches involved in the circuit. And again, physically, it doesn't have to be located between the two three-ways, but electrically, the circuit-wise, it will be located between those two. So the best way to go about it is simply to remove all the electrical plates so you can identify which one is your four-way and you know that's where you need to install it. If you found this video helpful, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and the bell, and we'll see you next week on the DIY Run.